Uh, so can you tell us what is a NoSQL database and why should developers consider it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to speak really broadly about it. But ne- NoSQL is a, what's the word, an acronym for not only SQL. It emerged just when we were like beginning of starting to look at other database models that aren't SQL or relational. Uh, NoSQL is a massive term and encompasses basically anything that isn't a, a relational database that inc- like includes time series databases, graph databases, key value stores, uh, document-based databases. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple, but a lot. I guess a, a lot of developers, uh, you know, they, they spend a lot of time thinking about entity design. So in a uh, NoSQL database, mm-hmm. does it mean they don't need to uh, worry about entity design anymore and then they can you know, uh, basically build their uh, contact entity or whatever on the fly and add, add extra fields as they need them, that sort of thing? Oh, totally. Yeah, um, actually quite the opposite. I think it's a common misconception with uh, NoSQL databases and particularly document-based databases. I'm a developer advocate and software engineer at MongoDB, so I'll talk about it from a MongoDB document-based perspective. Um, but uh, yeah, no, um, you still need to worry about it. Uh, uh, schema design, just like with SQL development, is one of the key parts about increasing query and write performance. Um, I think it's one of the things that people actually don't give enough time and energy to when they're developing or like working on a NoSQL database. Um, actually, I just spoke at a conference today about that. Um, yeah, it can like hurt performance. I think a lot of people who like complain about their MongoDB database not like scaling well. It's nine times out of ten, it's a it's a schema design problem, um, and kind of making sure that to refactor, reconsider it. And so, how does that affect future modifications of your document design? So, if you do want to uh, change the uh, you know, the fields in your entities and that sort of stuff, should you rebuild your documents or in order to maintain performance? How does that? You work? could. Um, I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Um, just like you would, but like like data requirements and feature requirements are always changing. They're always growing. And even with an SQL database, even like day one, when you launch it rarely, you know, six months to a year down the line, is that database still in the exact same schema that you need to follow at the beginning. And the same thing with um, MongoDB database too. Like you're, it's the right software never, it never ends. Software development never changes. It's always being updated, changed, expanded mm-hmm. on. So schema design changes are, that's just part of life. You can't avoid it. Right. Even if you day one, you have the perfect, perfect schema you know which doesn't exist yeah. right but like um it's going to change uh so and typically what we do with an sql database is you run migrations and you make changes to it and those are but you can do the same thing with the no sql database with mongodb um that's definitely not an anti-pattern um yeah you could pause it and dump it and restart it again you, i wouldn't recommend that most of the time you're gonna probably have some downtime and it's not really necessary um, yeah, I would probably just like copy that data over to another like dev database and start running some migration queries on it or like migration updates on all your data um, and then run that query. Okay, so what, what should developers consider in terms of uh, their schema design and optimizing it for performance in a NoSQL? Is it the same considerations yeah. as a relational database or is it? Yeah, it's confusing. So I'll talk about it from an SQL perspective, which we might people might be familiar with or not. but. Um, there's very prescribed and well-researched approaches to SQL schema design. And we typically do that with normalization. Most developers normalize to the third form. Um, basically, what that means is that like, m- with a relational database, your concern is not how that's going to be used. It's what data you have. And I'm not saying that's always true. But like, I have a users, I have some user data, and I have some professions. Maybe they have a class schedule. And like, oh, I should just split that up and we'll, we'll do some joins in that with the foreign key. So normalization is like typically what we're doing. Um, with MongoDB schema design and document-based schema design, there's no rules, there's no process, there's no algorithm. The only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is designing a schema based on the needs of your database. So like a schema might work for you, but it, you know, in a very similar application, it might be totally different from someone else.